Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. I'm really excited because this is going to be the first ever big happy planner plan with me that I've done on camera and honestly the first ever big happy planner like plan with me that I have done ever you know on camera or off um, like a full weekly spread I have started playing around with it but only for a few days so I haven't really like set out like to do like a large weekly spread so I'm just so excited to see how that turns out and how you know how I feel about the big planner so if you're interested in seeing what I get into for my big happy planner this is kind of like my household and home slash catch-all planner so if you're interested in seeing how that turns out just keep on watching So this is a relatively new uh, development in my planner system. I use various planners for various things and I recently decided to switch into a big happy planner and combine like my household and meal prepping and uh, personal stuff as well as like social events, um, kind of like a catch-all type of situation into a big happy planner and i picked up this pressed florals big happy planner it's a vertical style from the happy planner and i picked it up for three dollars and 75 cents at michael's so this is a public service announcement for all of you all out there who don't know but uh, around this time a lot of michaels will be severely discounting all their um outdated planners quote unquote outdated because technically these are the planners that started in either at the beginning of 2022 or last year in July of 2021 and continue through the end of this year. So we still have a good amount of months left that are still usable in those planners, but um, they, are, they do already have like a lot of the planner has already like uh, passed. So this big uh, pressed florals, beautiful, gorgeous. I wanted this when it came out, but Back then, I wasn't really thinking that I was going to be, you know, working in a big happy planner, so I just didn't pick it up. I'm glad I didn't because I picked it up for only $3.75. So I've just started this planner, and so right now, the month of April is just blank, except for I literally just started this this week um, on Saturday. Uh, I kind of outlined a couple of things that I wanted to do and I'm just trying to dip my toes into the big happy planner, get comfortable with it, get used to it because I am starting up some big happy planners in July of this year. I've already picked up, like planned out my planner solar system um, for uh, next year slash this year beginning in July and I have two big happy planners in my lineup. So until then, I'm going to play around with this big happy planner and get used to her. So I just have my pressed florals bookmark. I have some stickers and a little like sticker protector sheet. And also I have my meal planning pages in here as well because I want to... Um, I want to keep my meal prepping, my meal planning like front and center with my household planner because I feel like those two go hand in hand. So I just have tucked in some pages in here and I'm going to be using my meal planner this way. I'm just going to have it tucked into my household slash catch all planner. And yeah, so it's currently Sunday. And why don't we just go ahead actually and fill out a couple of things here that I want to do. So I did get some things done yesterday that I've been meaning to do and I'll probably, today it's Sunday the 24th, I'll probably finish up the items that I wasn't able to do. Where's my pen? Here it is. So, okay, here, um, and let me take out this folder real quick because it's kind of getting in the way of my writing. And let's, um, let's get into what I need to do today. So today I want to 
sweep the backyard, sweep patio. I want to sow seeds, vacuum and tidy my room. I didn't get to do that today. Um, film YouTube videos, which I'm doing right now. Um, I do want to edit, edit, uh, let's see, what do I need to edit? I need to edit the color block plan with me that is still under the underway. And I also need to edit, oh, you know what? I think I need to publish that one. I think I finished editing it. Yeah, I got to publish that one. So it's not edit, it's publish the color block plan with me. I do want to edit my work planner setup. And I want to edit my planner system review video. I think that's what I'm going to do. I also want to uh, clean the mirrors in my room. They're kind of grungy, so I got to get that done. And what else do I need to do? Empty compost bin. Gotta empty the compost bin in the kitchen, and that is it. And by the way, this little checklist is from the stamp. I got the stamp in a little like a paper crafting stationery bookstore in a little Tokyo in Los Angeles. It's one of my all time favorite stamps, incredibly functional. Um, I love this stamp so much. So there we go. That Those are gonna be my to-dos. Today, Sunday, that, I think that's enough to get me, um, to get me started for today. And let's see, I wanna add a little, um, a little box. Uh, this is really interesting. <laughs> Setting up and playing around in a big happy planner. It's just there is so much space and also having it like having a planner that combines like very ah is that crooked it totally is having a planner that combines various aspects of my life is nice i didn't expect to like uh, be so like gung-ho about it until i really started playing around with it because you can combine like memory keeping with to do's and it just, I don't know, there's something fun about, you know, mishmash, uh, a mishmash of like your daily experience. So I'm going to go ahead up here and write down um, breakfast burritos. I had breakfast uh, burritos, like me and my mom made um, breakfast burritos. Oops, in the morning with mom. Just a cute little, like we had a little breakfast together, which was nice. So I wanna make a, make a little note of it. And what else? I kinda of wanna use a stamp. I don't use my stamps enough, so I kinda of wanna use my stamps. I think it'd be nice to use this coral ink and this really cute um, girl with her little flowers, very spring. Why don't I just put her like right here? Aw, cute. I like that. But okay, there we go. There is that. And now that we've done that, we can set up um, our pages for the next week. So I'm going to be decorating uh, the 25th through the 1st. And let's see, what should I do? Okay, honestly, I was going to go with princess and florals, but I just got this in the mail. And so I feel like I should use these. So these are from a small sticker shop. This is from Cafecito Designs. I love them so much because they are Latina owned and they celebrate a lot of aspects of Mexican culture. Young girl is Mexicana. So this really speaks to my heart. Um, I ordered her sticker pack of um, her dulceria theme. So th these are all like 
stickers based around um, little Mexican candies and really iconic and so I, th I think it'll be fun to use these. I have the, a whole stack of these stickers. I also got um, just a sticker sheet of, of just regular um, planner stickers from her as well but I don't think I'll be using these because and this is a little freebie I don't think I'll be using these because they don't go really well with the theme so we'll set those aside she also gave us a little postcard and journaling card which I think is so cute I'll, I use these as bookmarks so I can always use those and we also got some sticky notes or I got some sticky notes <laughs> really freaking cute Oh, they're post-it sticky notes. Interesting. So it has um, the little dulces on the edges there. Really cute. This is adorable. Okay, how do I open this? Pull this out. Oh, awesome. So, so cute. So we have that, and we also have... Um, we also have these stickers here. So let's pull these out. Really, really cute. So these are, ah, oh, they're holographic. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, these are cute. And then this is a large sticker. Wow, beautiful. We have so much to play with here. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. Look at this. Wow, so cute. Okay, so let's get started. I have some of their washi tape here as well. So we have so many uh so, so much to play with and these are really well made the paper feels like amazing quality so i'm really looking forward to you know seeing what we do here let's start off with some really cute uh full box stickers and we'll peel them off from the page there we go it's a nice this is definitely one of those like paletas um probably like a mango paleta or something. Ugh, these are really cute too. And of course, the little tamarindo spoons, the, um, oh, what are these called again? Duvalines, the Duvalines, Lucas Pelucas, Mazapan, of course, um, paleta payaso, ugh, of course. Ugh, like the little um, mango a lollipop, so cute, so. I don't even know where to begin with this, honestly. How should we set this up? So this is my household planner. And um, how I like to plan is I like to sit, set down like anything, um, like anything of note that is happening. So um, let me grab, Hmm, you know what? Let me put this sticker here on the sidebar. Let's put that there. Let's grab some washi tape. This is so cute. This is just like so nostalgic for me and like such a cultural moment for me right now because if you know, you know about these dulces. So I'll put some washi tape down there. Uh, I might, I might give myself like a bit of a washi mosaic down the bottom there. Um, this is a really nice washi tape. Okay, so I'll add some more washi tape here. I'm gonna cut off the end because I kind of messed that up, but let's put some there. Really, really cute. Oh, I love this. How iconic. This is an iconic washi tape with the little says. Oh, so beautiful. This makes me want to have some dulces. And actually the little packet came with some dulces, a pulpa rindo, and one of these like mango popsicles, uh, lollipops, paletas. Um, so I definitely had to get into those. Anyways, like I was saying before I got sidetracked, I like to put down um, like notable events, first of all. So 
this is my household and like catch-all planner so anything that's not work and that's not like fitness wellness spirituality anything that can go into any other of my 14 planners <laughs> goes in here this is mainly for household meal prep social events and a little bit of memory keeping as well so um i actually don't have a lot going on um ah well, okay, that one's staying there now. I actually don't have a lot going on this week in terms of events that are happening. Um, I do have something going on Tuesday evening, afternoon, and then also on Sunday. It's actually my birthday on Friday, and so I'm going out to dinner um, on Sunday to celebrate. Is that crooked? Hopefully not. I'll use this box to kind of like journal um, for my birthday. I'll put that there. And actually, maybe I can, uh, let's see. Ooh, this little garland here. This is fun. Uh, I'm gonna pull for one of these garlands and put that here kind of celebrate my birthday little garland and let's see what else what else can I get into these are so cute what what a great sticker book um, I'm gonna use one of these Duvalin stickers happening at 4 p.m. so that's happening and then this larger box um, I'm gonna write at the top here end of week reflection and then I'll just write I'll, I'll journal a little bit about you know what's going on in the weekend and then I'm gonna use my stamp guy here. Um, I, there are checklists that come with the sticker kit, but I don't know, for like a big planner, I like using the stamp because it's so big. And um, yeah, I just really like it. So we're gonna go with this stamp guy. Ugh. Ugh, there we go, not bad, not bad. I'm trying to get better at stamping this guy. Sometimes it gets so crooked, it's ridiculous. I'm also gonna give one on, give myself one on Sunday. Okay, oh, that one's almost perfect. Look at me getting better at stamping. So I'm just give myself two checklists. I really like this checklist, so oh, I just wanna use those checklists. Let's see, what else do I need to do here? Um, oh, I do want to make a note that, uh, I am having dinner on Sunday. Ah, eek. Oh. There we go. It's, it's layered, a little layering action here. Yes, Chinese buffet. This is like my ideal birthday dinner. 
I love Chinese buffets so much. It's funny because my entire family is into fine dining because a lot of my family like works in fine dining restaurants and so uh, we love like fine dining and like don't blink an eye at like a dish costing like 40 50 dollars which I mean you know if you can afford it you can afford it and that's fine. Like I'm not, I'm a Taurus. I do enjoy fine dining. I love, you know, having an, a really nice plate, but for some reason I'm always, I've always been like the happiest at a Chinese buffet. And this Chinese buffet is the best buffet I've ever been to. It is like a next level Chinese buffet. It's a little bit more pricey than a regular standard Chinese buffet. Um, but because it's so good and it's really popular, so hopefully birthday dinner at Natsumi at maybe like 5 p.m. around there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have my birthday dinner, love it. And then let's take another one of these guys and pop it here. And my actual birthday is on Friday, so let's see. Let me give myself a little um, let's see which one should I use? This yellow one. And I think that is it. I think we're done here. This is how I set up a like a planner spread. Like for me, the perfect like setup situation is that it's like half written in and half decorated because as the week progresses and plans develop and um, like I decide to add things, I want to feel like I have space to add things into the planner. I don't want to feel like there is no space for me to add more decoration or add more boxes, add more like text. I want to feel like I do have the space to do that because I do also want to kind of like memory keep in here as well. But I also want to feel like I have like a plan in place and I have something, I have the week thought out. I have plans mapped out. So for me, the perfect like setup is like half like half pen, half decoration with plenty of room to fill it in as the week develops. And for me, this this is perfect. Really like how it turned out and I'm excited to continue to work in this. And as the week progresses, I'll definitely fill in, you know, these empty spaces and just, you know, I'll have stickers here to play with. I definitely don't want to add a lot of decoration until you know, the days pass because I don't want to ever feel like I don't have space to write. And so for me, it's always a little bit of, um, of a challenge to find that balance of like enough decoration for me to feel really like happy, but also enough space for me to be able to write. So I like how it turned out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.